Hello, welcome. Um, this is Relden, and I am doing my follow-up 1080p comparison um, for game stream comparisons between uh, three different uh, streaming technologies. Um, the first two I'm going to be showing off are ways of streaming uh, from one PC to another PC, in this case uh, my gaming machine in the other room, to this laptop that I have hooked up to my bedroom TV. I'm going to be streaming through Steam's built-in streaming functionality. I'm also going to be streaming through Limelight, which is a open source uh, third party uh, way of making use of NVIDIA's game stream technology. Um, and then last, I'll be streaming using um, my new NVIDIA Shield tablet here. Uh, so let's get started. Um, we're going to be streaming uh, Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor since it's a relatively recent game. Um, quite a bit of fun, in my opinion, and has some pretty good graphics that. Are worth uh, taking a look at. So we're starting out. Uh, we've got Steam's uh, built-in solution here and playing using a wired um, 360 controller that I've got hooked up to my laptop. Um, I'm gonna fire it up. We'll see how this goes and kind of see how it compares to the other two solutions. Um, okay, um, just looking at things immediately, the actual look of everything seems to be pretty good. I'm not really coming across a whole lot of um, artifacts or anything. I will note that per the bottom of the screen, um, I don't know if you'd be able to read that, but it's coming in at 1080p, but it's only able to handle, I'm getting about 24, 25 frames right now, which is not exactly ideal for a uh, game that is you know, has quite a bit of action. Um, so let's actually get into the game itself. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how we stand there. Now, my gaming PC in the other room is a i5 2500K running a GTX 770, um, and currently I'm running this game um, on high settings, which uh, generally, if I'm playing on the machine in the other room, I have no problems doing. Okay. Hopping into the game itself. Um, controls actually seem to be fairly responsive. You can definitely see a little bit of smearing, a little bit of blurring here. I'm, I'm getting about 30 frames at the moment. And yeah, now I'm actually in the game itself, so this definitely is not uh, an ideal look. I mean, you can, I, can, I can definitely see just a lot of artifacting pretty much everywhere that I go. I mean, on the bright side, it's certainly playable. I'm getting, you know, a roughly about an average of about 30 frames per second. Um, it's manageable, but even for being at 1080p, it's not exactly ideal. Okay. Well, that is the Steam solution. Um, we're going to hop on over. Um, and if you see any, if, uh, there's been a couple kind of like rainbow shots. As far as I can tell, that seems to be, that's not the streaming solution itself. There's, uh, that's something weird that has happened or that I've noticed happening uh, a couple times um, just with the HDMI connection I have between my laptop and this TV. So that, that's not anything being caused by the streaming. I've had that happen um, at other times. All right. So that's the Steam streaming. Uh, I'm going to hop on over and fire up Limelight. Now this is running on Java, so you pretty much have to just have kind of a Java installed on your machine. You download the jar and run it. Um, it'll work almost exactly like your uh, Shield um, solution if you've ever used the Shield game stream. You have to first pair the uh, basically this program to your host, your streaming machine. Um, and then basically when you initially pair it, you'll have to go punch a code into the streaming machine. And once that's happened, um, from thereafter, you can just start your streaming and it'll automatically connect and let you do stuff. So I'm going to jump straight into start streaming. Now, one thing with the Limelight solution that's a little bit different than if you're using a um, Shield device directly is that Limelight always drum, uh, drops you directly into Steam Big Picture mode, um, where the Shield solution lets you directly run um, non, or uh, say shield, steam big picture mode. 
uh, whereas that's just one option with the shield solution. You can also um, have it jump you straight into pretty much any other executable you choose. Now, one thing I will note off the bat is the controls seem a little bit, I mean, I'm definitely uh, feeling latency here. Um, graphically, everything looks really, really um, crisp and nice. Uh, we'll see how it actually looks once we get into the game here, but it's definitely, it, it's one of those things where, you know, you push left, you push right, even on like a menu, and you just feel like kind of a little bit of a hit, like it's not responding um, in the way that you were anticipating. Um, so we'll see how, how well that works in game. Yeah, even even here, I'm just gonna stick. Like you can actually see there being a bit of a difference between the point where I hit anything and something happening. All right, Let's just hop into the game and we'll see how things go in there. Graphically, though, I mean, this is working pretty well and really is not bad at all for being a uh, third party solution. So. Uh, one thing that's kind of interesting is it's got it's got controls uh, on the right thumbstick reversed. Oh, this is not good. And it is uh, just dropped. Uh, whoa. Okay, yeah, the, the latency I'm getting right now is okay. This is uh, not even. Sounds like the sound's keeping up, but yeah, I pretty much have no control or anything. Oh. Yeah, that's uh them call me captain. Yep, you yeah he was certainly able to beat me with uh my an inability to actually uh control things or really even see what was going on. Okay yeah that's uh Definitely not working um, ideally here. I'm actually trying to exit out. Okay, here we go. Okay. Um, yeah, that was uh, not exactly impressive there. I mean, it, it looked fine, but it doesn't really do you much good if you can't actually, um, you know, play the game, right? So I'm going to hop on over to the actual Shield tablet. Um, it's, I've got it hooked up to a different HDMI cable to a different port on this TV, so I'm just going to switch things over. It's currently running in mirror mode, so um, what you see um, down here on the tablet itself, here's the Shield wireless controller, is mirrored to what you see on the screen here. So I'm just going to come over here and I'll pop directly. Oh, it just occurred to me that I probably forgot to completely yeah I forgot to actually disconnect uh, I'm still running the limelight here which is not gonna let me connect to the same PC with both at the same time yeah okay so close that down and now I'll switch over to the shield and let's get this to work okay here we go Onto the Steam, which looks very similar. Hopping in game here, and we'll see if this runs any smoother.
convenient. I do have uh, my settings on the shield uh, tablet here. I do have it set to be locked on. I do have it set to be locked on to um, 60 frames. So I can already say that just from, from seeing, like in terms of the speed that is responding, um, it's already like significantly better than like limelight. It's not even really a comparison. Um, Okay. I was offered the post commanding the Black Gate. I intended to refuse. I shall have you up there. Let's hop into the game here. This is not. Similarly, with the limelight, I will definitely say that um, graphics wise, things seem to be relatively clear. You can definitely feel um, just from moving around and just seeing how things control. Stuff is running uh, very smoothly. Yeah, definitely uh, plays uh, very smoothly. Um, Graphics-wise, um, things look pretty well. Hmm. Yeah, I would, I would still say, I mean, uh, just from looking, you know, just from playing here, I mean, this is, this plays definitely just as smooth or smoother than the Steam streaming, but I don't have that same um, kind of blurriness uh, on the screen and artifacting that I was getting before. So, I mean, I would definitely uh, have to say that just comparing these to each other, um, I my, my preference would probably still be using the actual real NVIDIA solution. Um, Limelight seems to work well enough in the, uh, in terms of providing the graphics to you, but I mean, as you saw, you know, there was a like when we got into those action sequences, we ended up getting a lot of frames dropped, and just in general, the responsiveness, the 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 lag really on the controls made it um, just not very good for playing anything sort of action oriented. Um, both Steam and um, the Shield solution, um, the, the the normal Nvidia one, both work fine um, for being for playability, but um, I still think the uh, the Shield um, game stream itself um, provides, you know, combines that with, uh, with just a much better um, look. All right. Well, um, let me know in the comments if there's anything else you'd, you'd like to see or anything else you'd like me to test out here. But um, otherwise, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's game streaming um, at higher resolution. Um, so yeah, this is Relden. Thanks so much.